Welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream. We do a little bit of whatever I want today. We're going to be getting back into our Majora's Mask 100% run. Controller's good. Let's switch to the game. Here we go. All right, now you all can see. So um, here's where we are. We are on cycle four. This is we're starting cycle four, and we're going to do snowfall. The quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. Yes, I know. But first, what we're going to do, actually, is come back in here, and we're going to have the Happy Mask Salesman tell us all about the masks that we have acquired. Here we go. That mask. That is the mask of truth, isn't it? You have a frightful mask, but being able to see into people's hearts and minds seems useful. Unfortunately, that is not the mask I am looking for. Keep up the pace. I am counting on you to get my mask. Okay. So we also newly got um, the mask of sense since we last... Oh, because I'm wearing it. I guess I put it here. And let's see what he has to say about this pig mask. That mask. That is the mask of sense, isn't it? You've done well to get that mask. Looking at its condition, I can tell that its previous owner was neat and tidy. Unfortunately, that is not the mask I am looking for. Keep up the pace. I am counting on you to get my mask. Okay, and then we need the bunny hood. We need the bunny hood back. I can't wear this pig face. I'm sorry. Mask of sense is not very useful. Don't use it very much. I'm not used to looking at it. All right. Now, before we go to Snowhead, we actually have something else that we need to take care of. And that is getting started on another three-day cycle minigame. So this particular three-day cycle, we are actually going to do the Bomb minigame. It is a uh, Honey and Darling shop, and they have minigames all about bombs. It's great. Uh, so that we can pay for these minigames, we are going to go and get some rupees. So this is one of the 100 rupee spots that you can get. Um, I'm going to be showing, starting to show these and getting these each cycle so we can kind of build up our rupees. Um, and also buy some things this cycle. So here's 100 rupees right here. You can see I went over to East Clocktown and ran along those ledges. And here we go, a silver rupee worth 100. Yay! We have many rupees now. Okay, next thing we're going to do is come over here. This is Honey and Darling. This is Honey and Darling, and um, the first day is the hardest. You will see. I did a lot of practice so that I wouldn't be playing it over and over and over. Hopefully, hopefully, we will see. Oh, you got mature for your age. Oh, okay, paste it. Paste it so I can read it. I'm so curious what that says. Okay, here we go. So this is Honey and Darling. I can't remember which ones. I think this is the lady talking first. Looks like we have a visitor, honey. Oh no, it's... Okay, that was the man. It looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, would you like to play? Today is Bomchu Gallery Day, isn't it, darling? <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to save state here, like we like to do. So, what save state am I on? Okay, I'm on the default. So yeah, we're going to save the state. And I will play. He hit each target with a bomb chew in the time it takes us to dance through one song. But if you fall off this platform, you're out. Right, darling? Are you ready? Start the music. Okay. Your wig is gone. Okay, I'll read that in a second. Okay, so you want to walk up to the edge like this. And you release the bomb chews. It takes pressing the B button twice. You have to aim. As you guys know, I cannot fucking aim. So we'll see how many tries this takes me. The platform will go up and down and will spin faster and faster. Um, it's very annoying. Uh, you want to go to the edge because the bomb chew is really erratic when it's on the flat surface. And so you get less erraticness if you're on the edge um, uh, with the, sp the spinning platform, right? Because the platform's spinning. So, dang it. And you just want to stand here. Like, I do not move for this. So if I fuck it up really in the beginning, like, I'm already pretty sure I fucked up this time, um, then you're not going to get it. <sighs> yeah, missed that one. So we're not going to get it. Yep, 
eh, we missed. We missed. So this is how it works. Um, and you just keep doing this until you win. Yep, fucked up. Yep, there's three of them. Three of them that I just kept missing over and over. Um, you're trying to get perfect. You're trying to get perfect every day. All right, let's uh, load state. Try again. All right, uh, the teachers say it is a compliment when they notice you're just wandering around the playground, not interacting with anybody. Uh, you read books that are at an advanced reading level. You did not turn in your assignment on that book. Tell... Uh, they tell you you're a model student because you never cause problems in class. You need to go to therapy. <laughs> okay, like, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that one for me, though. Like, I am the anteater. Although I think both are probably kind of true. Anyways. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. All right. I'm going to be a little quiet so I can concentrate. Ain't got no aim. Stand straight. Way easier when the platform's going slow like this. The fact that I missed two in the very beginning is a problem. Okay, how many left? Two, maybe? You don't want to hold them for above your head for too long, because um, then you'll explode. God damn it. Damn it. Do this time. Do this time. Motherfucker. Yeah, we missed. We missed. I didn't straighten up good at the beginning. <laughs> yes, yes, we're ready. Ready, we're ready, we're ready. Better start. One left, one left, one left. You can only have three bomb chews on it at a time, too. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Up the door. Fuck! <clears throat> Angry at myself. Angry at myself. Ah, keep blowing myself up. Don't do that. Nope, I missed it. Damn, that was so close. I had not blown myself up. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> I was so close that time. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's go. Bomb chews ain't got nothing on me. These little bitches. Worst start. Why they gotta make the first day the hardest version of this game? <laughs> ah, fuck. Down to one again. Down to one. It's the one right past the door. Missed it again. Missed it again. The music reminds me of Luigi's Mansion theme for some reason, and I can't unhear it. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm not really super familiar with Luigi's Mansion, so I'm not sure about that. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, Nintendo has a lot of cross-pollination with who works on what.
bitches. You can do it, you can do it. This is possible, I've done it before. Ah, keeps going fast by those. Didn't do it this time either. <laughs> okay. Let's go. This time it's it. I assume this is Bree with a different name. Bree, you're my good luck charm. I love you. <laughs> Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with... Oh, this is the same character. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. There we go. Purple Ruby. Fuck yeah. Okay. So we got the Purple Ruby for the day one. But to get the heart piece, we have to beat it all three days. Just like a lot of the other um, three-day game thingies. Okay. Now what we're going to do, before continuing on, we are going to go and deposit our rupees. Changed my Twitch name when I started watching a bunch of other gamers, so I don't trust to hate my opinions with my full name. <laughs> uh, yeah. But Bree, I did it because you came into my stream and said hello. That's that's why I was able to do it that time. Okay, we got to go to our bank friend. Let's go to our bank friend. Uh, yes, we're gonna. If we don't start now, it's going to take like a lot of time and effort um, when it comes time to make sure we've saved up enough rupees to do the uh, to do the rupee heart piece. Because there is a heart piece for putting 5,000 rupees in the bank, which is a lot of rupees. It's really not hard, but um, to try to like just farm rupees is kind of boring. And so I don't want to, you know, do so much at once. So to make it less boring, we're going to do a little bit cycle by cycle. Okay, now what we're going to do is take off the hat. And then, yeah, 5,000 is insane. 53241. Okay. 53241. Yes, I know that's right. Thank you, kid. Okay, there is another 100 rupees down here in the sewer. I think I might have shown this one off before, but I don't remember. I can, I can count today. It's that, it's that Bree luck. Bree's in here giving me that good luck. So I can count. All right, I haven't gone out and terminated or anything, so I don't got any bombs right now. So we are gonna use our blast mask. As you know, the shield will protect you from harm for some reason. So here we go. Here's another 100 rupees. Yay, silver rupee. Now, um, I am not going to deposit this rupee because we actually will need it in a little bit. <laughs> you are here to bring all the luck. Three, I think this is the first time I have seen you chat in one of the Majora's Mask streams. Do you love Majora's Mask? Um, do you like this game uh, or Zelda games in particular? I know you you probably you like games like this, I'm sure. I know from other games that I'm aware of that you like. Okay, so now that we have done that, we are going to head over to Snowhead. 
Time to take on the mountain. You bitch. Yes, 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 I know. But I have a sword, so it's okay. It's okay that I'm a kid, because I have a sword. <clears throat> I haven't played and I don't really play Zelda, but I do. Oh, oh thank you so much! Okay, we're going to destroy some um, plants, you know, because we need um, bombs and we need arrows. Some arrows. Bitch. I usually get some arrows from this little area, but not today. Okay. Yeah, this game is like so, like, it is so chill for me. I do think that a lot of ways um, Zelda games are cozy games. Ah, there's some arrows. Yay. Okay. That's all we need. Now we can go to Snow. So the way that this works... Oh, I've got that weird graphical glitch where the number's to the, le to the left. That's funny. Okay. Um, the way that this, that this works is you can't get to Snowhead until you've gotten the bow. And you get the bow inside of the first temple so it kind of like locks you from going here so if you try to come here before you have the bow you will not be able to that's kind of how like the four corners of this work so i mean i didn't even try to like show you you gonna talk to me i thought Tala was gonna talk to me yes anyway i do know what to do here you just shoot this oh she is up there For whatever reason, it doesn't let you stay on the bow. It makes you go back into it. And then the ice shatters and you can go in. I, I need to give a comfort game a go. I've been stuck on my... Yeah. <laughs> um, Bree, I can't even imagine. What is that mode called in that... Um, I think you were, you were playing a crazy mode in uh, Last of Us, right? Or something like that. Okay, so here's where you need bombs. If you don't have bombs, you can use the blast mask. It doesn't really matter too much. But we got some bombs from those... Uh, Oh, oh, Tattle, you're going to tell me about that now? I thought you weren't going to tell me. But it's okay, I told the people already. So you bomb that, and then you go up. So you have to have access to bombs, as well as um, the bow and arrow to have access to arrows to go up here. Well, Bree, you know I love cozy games. That's like my jam. Cozy games with good stories. Hey, and here's the mountain village. Very cool. Ooh, creepy music. Oh, did we ever slow down time? Did I remember to slow down time? No, that's Song of Soaring. No, I might have fucked up. I might have fucked up my timing. Oh, shoot. Wait, it's... Grounded mode, it's absolute death of me, literally. Inverted song of time. Slow the current flow of time, yes. I never slowed time! Fuck! That's okay, that's okay. It'll be fine. All right, um, we did it now. <laughs> I was like, why is time pass so fast? Because I never slowed it! Okay, then we get to strike the owl. And then let's talk to some people. Oh, you got some sad news? I'm so sorry, Koneko. Um, if you want to tell me what it was, you can. I'm sorry you had some sad news today. Okay, let's talk to this Goron. Whoa, oh, 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 up here, up here. I'm so sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I'm very hungry and I've gotten stuck here. Okay, very interesting. Oh, it's so cold. I am so very hungry. I don't think I'm going to make it. I just want to eat once more before I die up here. Something tough and hard to chew. I cannot forget that flavor. Okay, so we gotta keep that in mind. You want something tough and hard to chew. So let's come up here and let's investigate this house. Yeah, grounded mode sounds absolutely insane, Bree. Absolutely insane. Shut up! Just when I was having a good dream. Oh, welcome to the mountain smithy, where we take our time to make 
to make a good point. I am Zubora. The owner, pleased to meet you. Oh. Shut up over there. That huge fellow is my assistant, Gabora. He's all brawn and about as smart as a Deku stick. Say, did you come to have your sword sharpened? Unfortunately, we're not doing any business right now. It's because of this abnormal cold snap we've been having. See, our hearth has been frozen over. The way things are going now, I won't be able to do any business until spring. I could just do something about that frozen hearth. Whoa! Eh, what's that? You say if we had hot water, we could melt the ice off the hearth? Don't act like you know what you're talking about, you deku stick. Oh, he believes a rumor that says long ago there were hot springs somewhere in the mountains near here. Bah, I don't believe such rubbish. Okay, so what does that mean? That means there are hot springs somewhere in the mountain, of course. My favorite thing is when the game puts footprints. Yes, oh my god, I love that too. It's so cute. Like, bloop, 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 bloop. How is that guy not freezing his nips off? He's totally freezing his nips off. He's 100% freezing his nips off. Like, for sure. For sure he is. I don't recommend it. I've played The Last of Us so many times. 1.5 hours. Whoa! In terms of actual gameplay, not how long I've played and had to go back to Survivor. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Okay, so there's white wolfos here. They will try to, um, try to kill you. Uh, they're very annoying. Wolfo enemies are very annoying in most Zelda games, and this is no different. So here's Tingle. Um, he's going to say the same thing that he said every time that we meet him because we've not met him yet at all during this cycle. So he has no idea. You know, he has no idea who we are or what we're about. Yes, we are lucky. So we need to buy a map. We're going to buy a map of Snowhead. Yay, we got a map. Okay, so now we know where we're going around here. Yes. Magic words for Tingle himself. Okay, don't steal them. Got it. Don't worry. We're going to run past this Wolfos. The Wolfos have rubber band physics, so they'll they'll be able, they'll go as fast as you're able to go. All right. So, we're going to just walk past this guy. He actually will do a little fun thing so that you can get into the Goron city itself where all the Gorons actually are, but we don't really need to go in there yet. For this next part, you have to make sure you take off your bunny hood. Do not wear your bunny hood for this next part or you will fall and die. Oh, hoot. we meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues been of help? Well, it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land as I had expected, but the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in the snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you surely will co collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. Will you proceed? Yes, we will proceed. Hoot! You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now flying towards that shrine across the way, so follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you and the true path shall open before you. When did you switch to your Twitch screen layout? Oh, this is the layout for, um, for any time I've got like a game that's like, like this aspect ratio. That's the square aspect ratio. Okay, so there's feathers. So we follow the feathers. Our, fe our feelings are feathers, basically. And you can see the ground is a little bit slippery. So that's what I'm saying. Like if you wear your bunny hood, you're gonna slip slide and you're gonna fall right the fuck off. Woohoot! I have certainly been assured of your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item when returning to here. Okay. Yeah, we're winging it. We're winging it. But we're about to get an item that's going to help. So inside here, we will open the chest. What do we get? 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 You got the lens of truth. Okay, the lens of truth. You can gaze through it and see the truth. Okay, so what we're gonna do real quick is equip the Lens of Truth. 
Also, let's destroy some bushes. All right, so there's magic pots in these bushes. And in these bushes, there are bombs. Very interesting. Okay, that's a little hint because you can bomb this guy right here. Boom. And there we go. This 50 rupees. So you definitely want to get that because we're going to need 200 rupees in a little bit. All right, so now there's no more feathers, but we have the Lens of Truth. And oh, there was invisible ice blocks here the whole time. Wowie. So we can just hop, 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 hop. Oh, buck. I look at chat and I miss. Okay, anyways, let's try that again. Hop, 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 hop. Wait, who's that? Oh my gosh, it's a guy. Come on, let me speak. Oh my god. Here we go. Had to Z target. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. Okay, so now you have to follow him. Now you have to follow him. And um, you can use the lens of truth to keep an eye on him, but it's totally not necessary. Because if you wear the bunny hood, you can just keep up and you can always see his shadow right there. You just We just walk past the Deku shrub for this area as well. There's a business shrub here, just like there is in every other area. So we just follow his little shadow. And thank you for the hydrate, Bree. Thank you for the hydrate. I just walk past the little tektites here. You really don't have to fight them. They might hit you like once, but like I got so many hearts. You know, I got so many hearts. I'm very hard to pull. Now, when it comes to this guy, like his shadow will stop right here. And you would think you can just move on. But here you do actually have to turn the lens of truth back on. And that triggers the uh, animation to have him actually go through. And then you can just kind of turn it back off. So whenever he's going to pass through like one of these areas, you do have to turn it on. Like I have to turn it on again. I always misread the Tekatites as termites. They are as annoying. They are as annoying as termites. Okay, so we don't have to keep it on anymore. Um, we just follow his shadow until the end of this area. Leave me alone, Tekatite. Then just like the other spot, you do have to do the Lens of Truth to watch him go into the next area. So you don't have to run the Lens of Truth the whole time. Uh, as you probably noticed, it's draining my magic. And if you do let it run the entire time, you are not going to have a lot of magic. You're going to need to like fight things, um, blow snow up or whatever to get more magic. But I will keep it on here because you can see, ah, oh, this reveals this fun little ladder. Wow, what is that? Oh my gosh. Yep. Can't get up there. I have to swim back. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. Jump. Jump. You jump. Okay. And then we climb up this. You can, like, kind of stand back and look at the whole thing before going up this, but I just happen to know you start to go right, and, uh, and then it's just alternating. So when you have a choice, you're going to start with the right, and then you'll go left, and then I think it's right, and then that's all the choices you have to make. So since we started right, we do the opposite, we go left, and then we go up, there's going to be a right turn, and I think that's the last turn. There we go. Okay, we don't need the lens of truth anymore. We're gonna talk to this guy first. This is the grave where Goron Hero rests. I came here to put up the great hero's memorial. The return route has been blocked by snow, and I can't get back to the Goron village. And even worse, my brother has been frozen solid by the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Oh, it's times like this that make me wish I had taken some of the hot spring water I found when I was digging the hero's grave. But the hot spring is now covered by the gravestone. I can't move a gravestone that big by myself. But I guess this is what was meant by the Goron saying. There's no use in crying over spilt rocks. Brrr. So he's fucking freezing. And you gotta turn on the lens of truth to get the ghost guy to go into the grave. And then, there he is. Okay. Come on, let me talk to him. There we go. 
The soaring one said that the one who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. I am Darmani III. The proud blood of Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was the renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. But alas, I am now dead. <laughs> so sad. I was fine until I marched off to Snowhead by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. It had been wreaking havoc on the Goron village when the blizzard at Snowhead blew me to the valley. And now, here I am. How infuriating. As I am, I can only watch as Goron village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So, you can use magic? The Soaring One also told me that you're able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please heal my sorrows. Okay. So we know what that means. We need to play the song of healing for him. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the hugs. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the hugs, Kawaii. Are you having a good day today? How are you doing? Are you doing anything fun? Okay. Song of healing is left, right, down. So here we go. Left, right, down, left, right, down. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. You can see all of his friends. Feeling like a villain? Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Princessy. I love when you call me that. Um, the notes not matching the pitch bothers me so much. Yeah, Koneko, this isn't this isn't real music. This is fake Zelda music. I leave you. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplished while living are carved into the grave. You should read it. Okay, we got the Goron mask. Heck yes. Now we can um we can be a Goron with a dump truck. For the Goron village, I have asked your assistance. Okay, so let's be a Goron. I have an ocarina, I could probably figure out the actual notation. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm sure people have to. Like, you could you could probably even just Google it. Um, and if that doesn't exist, then I'm, I'm sure you could figure it out too. Okay, so if you read this, he basically says that the Goron hero rests here, this is his grave, and he will teach you about the things that the Goron can do. So what he's teaching you about first is that you can curl up and you can roll when you curl and you will get spikes. I'll show you all that in a moment. Um, also, techniques for battle. He's gonna teach you about the Goron punch. Also, if you um, roll up, you can ground pound. So if you roll up like this, you can ground pound like this. You can also punch. And then when you roll up, you can move around. This is actually the fastest way to move in the game is this Goron roll, okay? And if you roll in a straight line, you will have spikes come out of you eventually, and it uses up magic when you do that. Um, I think that was all, yeah, and then don't read. Okay, so before we do anything with that gravestone, I wanna come back out and talk to these guys as Darmani. No, 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 it's not the great Darmani, are you? Then just whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? Okay, this is another clue. If you didn't figure it out from what Darmani was saying and before, then um, then you need to come to this grave and you need to free the hot spring. So the way you do that is by grabbing it and pulling it back like this. Is this from the same era as Spyro gives me Spyro? Yes, it totally is. This is an N64 game. This is a Nintendo 64. So very similar Spyro to Spyro era. Absolutely, okay. So now that we've done that, we can use our handy dandy bottle to scoop up some hot water. Yay, hot spring water. So the smithy is a dumbass. Hot springs totally exist, have existed. I don't know how he doesn't know this unless he just recently moved here um, since it started getting cold, since Majora started fucking things up. Um, 
Okay, so you want to get close to this without touching it because it's going to freeze you. And then you want to pour this on there. If you pour it too far away, it's not going to melt the ice. But if you get too close, then when you touch the ice, you freeze too for some reason. Huh? What have I been doing? Oh, are you all right, brother? You were frozen, but the great Armani saved you. The great Armani? What's with you? Are you half asleep? Did you hear this guy? The great Armani died long ago and is lying in his gro- Eh, Darmani! I was shocked too, but somehow it seems the great Darmani isn't dead. Really? With this, a star of hope appears in Goron Village. Great Darmani, please do something about the blizzard blowing in from Snowhead. Okay, so very cool. We can do something about that. Um, we don't need to wear the Goron mask anymore for a moment, but we do need some more hot water. So we're going to go back here and we're going to get some more hot water. Okay, because there was another ice block that we need to melt. We saw that along the path that we were going to get to Goron Village. So, let's go back and handle that. Whee! Did I hit the water this time? Fuck yeah, I hit the water! I was trying to hit the water and not the ice. If you hit the ice, it does actually hurt kind of a lot. Okay, so we want to come here behind the smithy's house and run this way over to that other ice block um, that we saw before. Now we're not going to go down in the ice block quite yet, but the reason why you need to unfreeze it is because this connects to another hot spring and you need access to a hot spring that's closer than the one that's all the way in the mountain village. So, because the hot water runs out eventually. Okay, just like before, we want to get close without touching it. Do this and it will melt. Okay, and now we can go down the hole if we want to. We're not going to go down there quite yet. We'll do that later, um, but we're going to just run forward. All right, so now we can go inside <clears throat> the Goron village. So we're going to talk to this guy. It's cold. Being the gatekeeper in this cold is hard. Do you want to enter the Goron shrine? Yes. Then I'll open the door with a Goron pound. I'm going to close it right away so it doesn't get cold inside. So hurry up and get in. Are you ready? Okay, and then he's going to do the pound. Now, since we have the Goron mask, we actually can do this pound ourselves and get in. Um, but we're not... I just wanted to show that you could talk to this guy so you can get in there before you do the Goron Pound. Uh, thank you so much for the hand holding. I can't I can't hold your hand though right now because I have to put have them on the controller um, for very important tasks of this helping this crying baby and everyone that's tortured by the crying baby. Um, <laughs> so yeah, these guys, you can kind of talk to them and they'll give you some hints. So I wish someone would do something. Urgh, I can feel it pounding in the back of my head. You look like you're doing fine despite all this noise. I can feel it in my gut. It's echoing in my empty stomach. And if you talk to them as a Goron because you look like Darmani who passed away, they will say slightly different things and they'll also be surprised um, that Darmani is back just like uh, the other guy was. Also, there's this shop down here that you can purchase some things from. Um, you can also talk to him, but he has bombs, arrows, and red potion if you want to buy them as opposed to just um, mowing lawns to get them. So yeah. Uh, well, I, I appreciate you so much, Kawaii. I think you're awesome. Okay, you can get some Deku sticks and some magic from these pots. Okay, and then we're gonna go up and we're gonna talk to the baby. <gasps> oh, oh no, it's blue and white. I thought I could see like the turquoise or the gray hearts for a moment, but I still can't. Twitch still isn't showing them. Hopefully soon. So you can see everyone is tortured by the baby. And here is the source of their torture. Daddy, daddy, I'm cold, daddy. If you talk to him as um, Darmani, here's what he says. Oh, daddy, I'm cold. Uh, uh, Darmy, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? Okay, so where is his daddy? If you talk to some of these guys, you'll get some more hints on that. Um, I think this one gives you a good hint. I can, there we go. Oh, Darmani, you're alive. This is wonderful, but there's no time for catching up. If something isn't done right now about the crying, look at this. The torch that was just lit has gone out. Ugh, again with that terrible crying. So we have to do something about this crying. Those sideburns, aren't you Darmani? You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive. The elder was troubled because he thought we were dead. I'm troubled too. The elder went to Snowhead and hasn't come back, so now his son is so lonely he won't stop crying. If you don't find the Goron Elder and ask him to come back, I'll never be able to sleep. And it just keeps getting colder outside. 
Even in here, it's so cold that we could freeze. Okay, so we have to go find the elder. Oh my gosh, those hug emotes are so cute, Koneko. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna roll off here. We. Then we're gonna roll on out of here. So what we have to do is we have to go find the Goron Elder. So I already know where he is. Now he does move around different days. So we have to go find him though. Um, he'll be in his first day spot. So this is why we uncovered that hole before because we need more hot water to help him out. So he's back over here. go. I think he fell down to hole. It's the 8-bit drummer. Oh, I might have to follow him to get some of those emotes. Sounds awesome. Okay. We got hot water. Okay. Now we can go back up. Those guys are there so you can get Deku sticks if you need them. So we go back up and for the first day he is down here in the snowbank. So to be able to free him from the snowbank, we can either turn into a Goron and punch, or there he is, there's the Elder, or we can um, use a bomb, but I'm gonna be Goron because we need to be the Goron to talk to him. RNG, please, oh my God, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so when you talk to him, you wanna be Darmani um, because he'll give you more dialogue when you're Darmani, just kind of like the baby gave you extra dialogue when you were Darmani. Oh, what was I doing? Uh, it's already this late. I must hurry. Okay, no, don't hurry. Uh, oh, you're Darmani. But you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of Snowhead's magic powers. Mm, I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. Even if I can see past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. What? My son is crying because he misses me. Why do you know that? My son misses me. Oof, forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Darmani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with the song I am about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were an infant. You like playing some throwback nostalgia? Yes, oh my god, I love older games very much. So I do play, I like to play games with good stories and um, and older games I know a lot more about. I feel like I can share the stories a bit better. So a lot of the games I play are a little bit older. Uh, and poor guy, he is so old he cannot remember the song. So. It's no good, I can remember only the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. Okay, so we have part of a song. So we've got A right left. So we're gonna pull out our drums and do the same thing. We're gonna pull out our drums and do the same thing right now. So A right left, A right left. Yes. Lullaby intro. Thank, thank you so much for the hugs, Kawaii. Thank you so much. Okay, lullaby. Yes. A soothing memory of a thoughtful father. It's not that I forgot it. It's just so cold that I can't play very well. At any rate, I'm counting on you. Whatever you say, dude. I understand you're embarrassed about your memory going, but like... Oh. Yeah, I know. I, I know, I know. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I'm sorry. I was trying to curl up. But I think I can roll right back up. Yeah. Then I can just walk back. <clears throat> so once you find him, you can go back and play the melody for the baby. So we're gonna hop down here and we are gonna curl up and ground pound. And then we can go back in. Oh, night of the first day. Yeah, we should have finished this before it got night, but I forgot to slow down time, so that was bad. Okay, so we roll over here, and we play the song. Oh, let me make sure I remember what it was. It was... A right left.
lullaby intro. Oh. That song. That's the song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. Tears cured. He's going to sing for us. It was only two notes that he didn't remember. That was it. Okay. So he did remember most of the song. It was only a tiny bit. Sleep. Oh. Okay. The lullaby intro became the Goron lullaby. This lullaby blankets listeners in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. And now that we don't have the strong um, baby cries, you can hear there's fire. There's fire for the torches now. So we are going to do something with that. So now that we have the fire, we can do this. Oh, we need the bunny hood. And we need to light all of these torches so we can help them be warm again. It was getting so super cold in there. There's those two, then there's a bunch along here. You can just kind of run by. Okay, and then two. These two by this door. And then there's three down here. So there's this one. And then there's this one. And then there's this one. Oh, come on. Oh my god. There we go. I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna miss it. Thank you so much, Bree. Thank you. Okay, and so that we don't waste a stick, we slash our sword. Okay, now that we did that, the chandelier started spinning. And um as you notice, there was this really suspicious ramp up here, and the path was really slippery. That's kind of weird, right? Like this is all slippery, and then there's a ramp behind us. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna use our new spinning technique. Here we go. Boom, let's go. Dang it. Okay, there is a prize inside one of those pots. Hopefully we will not have to break all of them to get it, um, but sometimes you do, uh, cause it's just one and I don't know how the heck you're supposed to tell which one it is. Um, if anybody knows, I would love to know because I, I don't, I don't know how you're supposed to tell which one it is. And even if you could tell, I guess you couldn't really aim anyways, because like, you're, you have to go into that other, what the heck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't know what just happened. I don't know what just happened. I fell through the world. Okay, cool. Um, anyways, if you get low on magic, just break some pots. All the pots have magic and sticks in them. So yeah, um, that was an interesting glitch that I have never ever seen before. <laughs> I, I guess I've never uh, fallen in that spot, but I get, but you can, I guess. Um, dang it. Oh no, it reset them all. It reset them all when I did that. Oh no. Okay, well, we gotta try again. The Goron was too powerful. Um, the walls could not contain it. Um, the walls could not contain Link's boron dump truck ass. Okay, let's go. He got dumps like a truck. Truck, truck. Thighs like what? What, what? Baby move your butt. Butt, butt. All night long. Let me see that roll, whoa, whoa. Baby. That roll, 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 roll. Didn't get it. Don't 
don't fall through the world again to where I have to redo. I had two pots broken. I had two pots broken. I can do this. Okay. Roll for victory! Ah! Got none that time. Yeah, maybe that's the reason that there's not really a good way to tell which pot has it is because you can't aim anyways. Huh? Oh, I ran out of magic! God, motherfucker. And here I thought, like, oh, the... Doing the bomb minigame is gonna take so long, but this is what's taken so long. Definitely longer than it's supposed to, but that's okay. We still got this. Huh? Yes, we saved you. I wasn't trying to talk to you, though. Just trying to roll. Na 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 na. That was so bad. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Come on, you can do this. Be, can I roll from here? Maybe I don't have to go like all the way back in there. There we go. Finally. Okay, now this is what we're looking for. This guy you have to carry back to the man who wants the food. So we're going to carry this all the way back to the mountain village. Back up here. So we, we walk very slowly back to the mountain village. But at least we get a nice view while we do this slow as fuck walk. <clears throat> it's worth it. It's worth it for later. We're going to get a, a prize that we can't do much with now, but we will be able to do stuff with later, so we might as well go ahead and do this. Plus, since it's 100%, we definitely want to get the mask. So you can see the Wolfos have rubber band physics, because he could run really, really fast when I had the bunny hood on. But now that I'm a slow-ass Goron, he all of a sudden still is like the same distance behind me. Isn't that funny? It's the rubber band the rubber band AI. A lot of games of the N64 era have rubber band AI in them um, to various degrees of annoyance. If you ever played Diddy Kong Racing, which I played the hell out of when I was a kid, that game had a lot of rubber band AI in it. I think Mario Kart had a lot of rubber band AI in it as well. So that was like really, really prevalent during this time. All right, so here we go. Throw it up to this guy. Thank you so much for the hugs, Kawaii. Thank you. That, that, that's it. It's so good that I dream about it. The Dongo Cavern's finest quality rock sirloin. This is my absolute favorite. Blessed be this meal. Oh, my energy has returned to me. I am coming down now. Wait one moment. Though he could not roll before, he was too tired to roll up into a ball. But now he can. Oh, I wonder who it might be. Why, if it isn't Armani? How are you? Yes, I see. That is the reason why you knew it was my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this token of gratitude. We get the Dongaro's mask. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Dongaro's mask. It was crafted so well that no one could even think twice if you were to direct the frog choir. I hope that the spring will come soon so that I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. Hope as I might, it's still cold. I'm going back to Grand Village. Okay, so frog choir and spring. So we've had a couple people talk to us about how like it's recently cold. So we have to bring spring back clearly. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are actually going to come on, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go this way over here. I need to unlock something so that we don't have to go back. So we are going to do a little bit more before we go to the temple, but this is the way to the temple. 
and we are gonna go ahead and just go there to get the owl statue. I thought I was gonna fall for a fucking shit. Oh, definitely gonna fall this time. Oh, bitch! Oh, bitch, I banked it! I banked it! Yes! Yes! I can't believe I did not fall! I can't believe I didn't fall! Okay, Snowhead. This is Snowhead Temple. Um, so we're not gonna go in white yet. What we are gonna do first is actually take off our mask and we are going to whack. Whack the owl. Okay, uh, thank you so much for the hugs, Kawaii. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we can just fly back here easily. But what we're gonna do next is, um, let's see, actually, uh, we have 135. Okay, so what we need to do next is do some soaring so that we don't have to do that like whole thing again we're gonna soar right back to the mountain village because we need to get some more rupees we need to get some more rupees So we can touch okay, so we need to farm some rupees. It's it, there's not really a good rupee farming here in the mountains, so we're just gonna kind of make our way back to Termina Field so we can do some rupee farming. Actually, I think these things might drop rupees. You guys drop rupees. Oh, if I could punch you. Yeah, they do. Okay. You can see at night, there's also white, um, the white valves here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And you can, like, you know, Goron punch them. You can do the curl and uh, ground pound. The Goron punch is really OP. It, like, does a lot of damage. So you'll see when we kind of get to the temple that doing the Goron Punch or the Goron Ground Pound a lot of times is like what you want to do. Cause it's just so OP compared to like Link's sword attacks. Rupee? And just unfortunately, I'm not very skilled in the Goron roll and aiming that. So I, d I don't really get to take as much advantage of that. Actually, oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this before we... Okay, actually. Because we do still have time. Because it doesn't close till 10. Okay, I think I can do this in one go. We're going to go to Clock Town really quick. Actually, before we before we do the rupee farming, we're going to go to Clock Town really quick. Let's get, a, let's get this piece of heart. We've spent so much time at the beginning. So, like, my timing is slightly off. I think I can make it. Run. It's about to be 10. I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna make it. I might not be making it. Come on, can we do it? Can we get in there? He's gonna kick me out, I can feel it. Okay, if you do this minigame as a Goron, you get the best prize. Um, it's also the most expensive, but that's okay. Well, aren't you a fit fellow? Wanna play? For you, it's 30 rupees. So she charges you different depending on whether you're a Goron, or whether you're a Deku, or whether you're like a Zora. We're gonna get that later. Like, your form changes it. So if you can make it all the way to the treasure chest and open it within the time limit, I'll give you a special prize. Finding out what's inside is half the fun. Are you ready? Okay, so you don't want to do this as a Goron unless you are skilled at the rolling. What you want to do instead is take off the Goron mask and put on your bunny hood, okay? And you want to run towards it. You can see these blocks are going to come up. The maze changes every single time. You cannot memorize it. It changes every file. It changes every playthrough. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Like, fuck. Come on. There. Ha! Got it first try. 
Um, you can't memorize it. You can't do anything like that. So that's why you do the Goron. And there we go. We got a piece of heart. You get a different prize depending on um, what it is that you uh, that you end up doing, what, what form you end up taking when you talk to her. But whatever form you end up taking, you can always just put on the bunny hood afterwards to run through it as fast as possible. Did you have fun? Oh, I'm sorry. It's already time to close up shop. Come again. Yeah, they close at 10 p.m., so we just barely made it. We just barely made it, but that's okay. All right. Um, so we need to do a couple of things. We need to get up to 200 rupees. So let's do... Hmm. Yeah, the, she's, uh, she's definitely got some fans. The, that shop girl has got some super fans in this game. Okay, here's what I think we're going to do. Because there's another thing that I want to do during this first night. Um, let's talk to this guy. So we've already seen this. We've seen this a couple of times. So we're going to go through this, uh, this little quest here. So you guys already know. You guys know how we get him to give us the deed. So we have done the heart piece for getting that deed. We have also done the heart piece for getting the swamp deed. But you guys saw that there was another um, Deku, there was another business scrub in the mountains. And guess what? He has a prize for us too. So we're gonna come through here. We're gonna come through here and we are gonna get the moon's tier so we can kind of do this trading quest again. Now, at this point, you may have guessed there's like, there's multiple business scrubs and we have not unlocked every area in this game yet. So at this point, you might find that it's more efficient to not do any of the business scrubs, like little quest things. Um, and instead just wait until you can find all of the business scrubs and just do it all at once. But um, I need the extra, I, I always need the extra heart pieces, you know? So I always wanna show you um, for the for the most part anyway, I want to show them to you as soon as I can get them um, You know, whatever fits within the cycle, right? So we know how to do this. We talk to him. We zoom in on Majora or we zoom in on Skull Kid and Yeah, there he is and then we can get the moons here. Welcome back Koneko Welcome back <clears throat> Yes, 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 we know. We're gonna go get the moons tier. We got the moons tier. Okay, now we could run all the way back through um, this area, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna soar back to Clock Town because <laughs> that'll pop us right in front of the guy. So there we go, soar back to Clock Town. And then we'll be right in front of the business scrub and we can do that. So, okay. Oh, he's down here. Yes, I do have one. Okay, so then we're going to give that to him. Yay, we got the land title deed. Okay, yes, we already know about all this. So then, what we're gonna do is now that we've got this title deed, we can go trade the swamp title deed. And then what we're gonna do is deposit some of our rupees first because I'm also gonna show you guys another 100 rupee spot. So we're going to deposit a few rupees. We want to still keep most of our rupees because we're going to need 200 rupees really, really soon. So let's just deposit the 11 rupees so that we're down to 100. Yes. 
Okay, so then we're gonna we're gonna pick up a hundred rupees really soon. So we're gonna hang on to those hundred right there. So let's go to the swamp. Hey, Kawaii, Koneko's been here a while um, and is definitely a loyal viewer. So if they're asking you to chill, like, let's chill for a little bit. I don't think what Koneko's asking is unreasonable. All right, so what we're going to do next is get this title deed so that we can get the swamp title deed. We've already got this heart piece. Yes, he wants to go to a livelier place. I know, and I do appreciate it, but if the spamming's getting annoying, then we don't want to be annoying, you know? All right, so now we've got the swamp title deed. And then while we're here, we're going to get another 100 rupees. So you guys actually already know how to get this one. Um, but we're going to get it again. You can get it every single cycle. And it requires taking the picture of Tingle and going and giving it to his dad. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. He's so embarrassed that at first he gives you a heart piece and then when he is uh, When he can't do that anymore He gives you a hundred rupees because we've already got the heart piece So this is another really easy way to get a lot of rupees during a cycle is taking this picture You can do the same thing with the um, The Deku King so you know the Deku King is the other way to get that heart piece So you could do either the Deku King or Tingle, but Tingle is right here So why not just do that one, you know? Oh, uh, we don't want to snap it. I want to get in his face. Oh, dang it. Kill the stupid wolf host, otherwise it's going to be in my way. Oh my god, I hate killing the wolf host. Come on. Ah, uh, and Tingle blew his balloon back up. Bitch! You cost me. Costing me time. Why are you doing this? There we go. Now he dead. All right. Let's do this again. Oh, I still have my bow and arrow. Yeah, the wolf said fuck you. So anyways, we do this. And then we can do this and snap the picture. And hopefully it works. Y'all know my em emulator, like it freezes every time I take a picture right here and it gets weird and sometimes it doesn't work. So hopefully this works. Uh, let's go find out. I think it will. I don't know why this particular ROM extraction did that. Um, I've had I've had in the past ones that didn't, but for some reason this particular one is really weird with the pictograph. Let's talk to him. Yep, he's complaining about Tingle. And then we can show him the pictograph. Yep, your son's still doing that sort of thing. Okay, so it totally worked. And you will see, we get 100 rupees. Fuck yeah. Okay, so then we would go back to Snowhead. And then we want to, yeah, we want to go to Mountain Village. I feel like there should be an owl statue in the Goron Village. Because, like, the Goron Village and the Mountain Village are not very close to each other. So the best way to get to Goron Village is to soar to the Mountain Village and then run over to the Goron Village. But, like, it's kind of a far run. It's kind of a far run, to be honest. So, like... I don't, I don't like that. I really wish there was a soaring statue for the Goron village. I feel like there should be. Because there's several different things where you have to go to the Goron village to do them. And I just don't think it's right that I should have to um, soar to the mountain village and run so far. Maybe the owl statue in the Goron village fell apart from the cold. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Because like there's not a, um, there's not a statue in the 
the Deku village, right? Where the Deku King is. But for whatever reason, it doesn't bother me. Um, I guess because you don't have to like keep going back there for a bunch of things, but that's not true for the Goron village. Like there's several things that you come back here to do, you know? So I find it annoying. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on Goron clientele. I'm sorry, but I can't do business with you if you're not a Goron. It's a regulation of the Business Scrub Association. It can't be helped. It hurts, I know. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to him as a Goron. And we are going to this. Okay, so there's two things that we need for him. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on Goron clientele and that sir makes you a customer. Right now, I've got a special trade and offer just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag regularly pri priced at 1,000 rupees. In return, you'll give me your big bomb bag and just 200 rupees. Do you need any? Yes. Okay, so now we have the biggest bomb bag, so we can hold 40 bombs. So you have to do that first. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put on our Deku mask and talk to him again. And we'll do the next thing. So... Thanks for stopping by. Who'd have thought I'd meet a fellow Deku in a place like this? I sell bomb bags, but I'm focusing my marketing efforts on Gorons. What I'd really like to do is go back home and do business where I'm surrounded by trees and grass. But I can't open a business back home without following the proper procedures. Do you know what I mean? Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to give him the swamp title deed. That's... Ah, oh, that's a swamp title deed. I wish you would give that to me. I'll give you this land in exchange. Okay, and now we have the mountain title deed. I'm going right back to the swamp. Now, we cannot do the next step quite yet of this particular um, trading quest. We will be able to later. So, you know, we'll be doing these trades all again. It'll be super fun. Um, but we want to go ahead and do this one because just like all the others, you can... Get in the flower and you can jump up. And here's a little alcove right here. And oh, piece of heart. All right. So that's all the different things that I wanted to do before temple time. So now we can get the ocarina out. Put on our bunny hood. Oh, wrong way. Now, we can take on Snowhead Temple. So we already unlocked it, so we can go back to here. We don't have to run all the way back. We go over to Snowhead. And we have a big blizzard. So we have an item that can help us out. So if we do the lens of truth in this direction, we can see, oh, it's literally a giant Goron. Gorons have very powerful lungs. Uh, we know this because the baby was able to cry so much that the torches didn't work. And this guy uh, is able to blow so much <laughs> that we cannot actually get across at all. If you try to cross right here, it's not going to work. You'll get blown backwards. So we need to do what we know how to do, which is to put him to sleep. So that's A, right, left, A, right, okay. Oh, wait. It's not like this. You have to do it as a Goron, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's get out our drums. So, left, A. Oh, I did it wrong. There we go. I don't know my left from my right. Okay, and now... what happens. I can't. I can't count and I can't tell my left and right apart. I even said it to myself. A right left and then on the controller I did A left right. <laughs> okay, so now... We want to walk across here. You do want to walk across here as a Goron. Um, you can roll if you're talented with the rolling, but the reason why we want to is because then we're heaviest and um, we can do this. Boom. 
So the snowballs aren't like as big of a deal. Plus, you have to roll up this little bank right here. There's no other way to get up here. Eee! Just ignore those wolfos. There's also a bunch of the little white bulb things. Ignore those too. We're just gonna come up here. Now, I have seen people roll up this whole thing and have no problems. Dang it. No problems. They can just roll up. They do not fall. I fall. I fall. I don't know why it's so bad. But uh, I have no aim, so I fall right down. God dang it. I thought I could punch both, but I was too slow. I thought I could punch the valve and then right after punch the punch the thing. Yeah, they're little snow poofs. They're little and like the black ones that we have in the um in the other temple. We have white ones now. Who in heaven's name and on earth is Land Landon? Landon's all on my uh, Saturday streams. You've come to my Saturday streams before, right, Kawhi? You've met Landon. You've met Landon. Okay, so in this room, you can see we have white valves. They will try to attack you and swarm you. So the best way to deal with them is let them gather and then do that. And now they're gone. Then we can punch this and, oh, okay. Mm, this is kind of big. It's gonna take more than average strength to move this thing. Yes, I know. And I have more than average strength. So we can push it forward like this. Yeah, Landon's my co-host for my podcast. There's another wolf host here, but you don't have to deal with him. You can just come through this blue door right here. Now, this is kind of like the first room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, she, she, we were talking about um, Sailor Moon together. Okay. At slippery places like this, you can curl up as a Goron and roll your way across. Why don't you try it? All right, thanks, Tattle, as if I couldn't tell. So we curl up, we try to aim, and we go across in a straight line, which is very difficult. Okay, smash the box. All right. Now, from here, the best thing to do is this is the place where you can get those two fairies. You probably kind of saw them a little bit. We're going to put on our fairy mask, and there's one right there. I got to get closer. I always press start instead of B. So let's switch up to the edge. And... There we go. And then there's another one. We come on this side. Now, I don't know if like this is like literally what's programmed into the game. It looks like there's like four little windows that you can shoot through. I have never had any of them work, but coming over here and shooting through this one. I don't know if there's like invisible walls there or what exactly or why that happens, um, but that's been my experience. So we're gonna get those two stray fairies and then there's nothing else to do in this room right now but we're gonna just jump across. We'll have to come back to these some of these rooms later, um, kind of like you do in the other, you know, ones. Also, there's a fairy in here. If you put on the mask, it'll just come to you. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we can switch back to the bunny hood and open this chest. And then we get the map. Okay, so now we can actually see where we're going. So you find the map pretty quickly in this particular dungeon. So that's all we're gonna do in here for right now. We're gonna have to come back here later. But we wanted to go ahead and get the map, so we go in that room to get that. So now we jump across. Um, these pots have, what they have. Oh, arrows, okay. Oh, big room. Oh, that goes to Landon? Okay, I'll tell her, Kawhi. I'll tell her. She'll be on here next week on Saturday. We're talking about Hunger Games. We're talking about Hunger Games next week. It's gonna be so awesome. All right, so this is a big central room. You can see a lot of these doors are here like covered in ice. So we can't get through them. The only one we can get through right now is the gold one. So we go through the gold door next. And in this room, there's these two boxes right here. And they're the heavy ones, just like we had at the entrance where Tattle told us. We're gonna scooch this back. I'm gonna leave it. On the spot. No, that was too far. Right there. Okay. 
And then we're going to come in here. Small key. All right, so now we can open one of the locked doors that we saw at the beginning. But before we do that, um, we actually want to push this forward. There's a lot of like setup for later things in this particular dungeon. There's a lot of things where like you do something because you're gonna come back to it later. So this gets us the chest, but we cannot really get to the chest quite yet. We're gonna have to come back to that later, but we can go ahead and reveal it when we're in here now. All right, now we come back to the central chamber. And when you come at it from this way, you notice that there's torches by the red door here. So what you can do is you can melt that ice by shooting through the torch. Yep. Or I can just do it totally wrong. That was a weird... There we go. Now it melts. Ballad of Songbirds. Oh yeah, I have not read that yet, but we're eventually going to work up to it. So we're doing the first Hunger Games um, book, but we're going to do the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes soon. Oh my god, he's being too annoying. Stop Z-targeting him. Let's just go through the locked door. I was going to try to kill him. Okay. So this brings us into this room right here. I need to scroll down on my notes. Okay. There are some wolfos in here, but they will mostly leave you alone. They kind of like stay in their corners. So for the moment, we can kind of ignore them and we're just gonna open up this big old chest. All right, so there's the compass. And then you can see this is a bombable wall. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. And this takes us up to this super fun room. So the way that this room works is you got all these ice blocks and we already know how to break those type of ice blocks. And that is shooting. I don't know why it keeps like going down like that. There we go. Unlike the opening of Snowhead, luckily it lets you like kind of keep your arrows out um, to just straight up do the next one. Uh, it doesn't like make you go back after the first shot, but there we go. And you don't really have to break all of these, but it's just easier, I think, because then you're not blocked when you're hopping around. I like to break all of them, even though I don't end up hopping on all of the uh, pillars. I don't really bother with, like, trying to make sure I collect the rupees. I mean, we'll collect some of them, but, like, I don't go out of my way. All right, first thing we need to do, do this. Yep, there are little icicles that will fall on you and you kind of can't stop them. So we're gonna put on our bunny hood and we're gonna make this jump here. Yes, it's a fake wall. Um, you don't have to have the lens of truth necessarily, but just so that you can see what it looks like. So there we go, and there's a chest. All right, stray fairy. And that's what's in the chest. So we don't need this anymore. Cross here. 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 Okay. And then we gotta blow up this big thing. So you can either use a bomb like this, um, or you can Goron punch it or whatever. I think I'm still in range. Oh, no, I'm not in range. Thank God. Lots of rupees. <laughs> it did. It did. Um, the fairies that get trapped in the bubbles and chests are so sad. All right. And then we got another small key. Now this one... I don't I think it would be kind of hard to miss this one because there's literally the locked door right here and you can't really progress until you get that key. So we come into this room and this one, I always have trouble with this room. So I actually practiced it a little kind of recently. 
because I always struggle with what you're supposed to do. Like, I don't know, excuse me, I don't know why it's such a problem for me. So first we're gonna kill these guys so they don't get in our way. Okay. So they're all dead. Now we need the fairy. There is a fairy in here. Very carefully, Koneko. Very carefully. So you can use the lens of truth. Um, and I might need to. But I've shot it before without using the lens of truth. Let's see. Maybe I need to. Oh, no. No. It must be at the wrong angle. There we go. You guys heard it pop. Now you put on your great fairy mask and there's the fairy. All right, for this puzzle, we're gonna need the Boron mask and the bunny mask bunny hood. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't... Oh my gosh. Okay, Tattle. What? You think you can punch down something this big just by standing on top of it? You're gonna have to find some way to pound it down. Okay, so she's telling you you need to do one of these guys. Alright, so that blocks the door, but it raises this thing up so that you can get over there. So we're gonna take off the Goron mask and we're gonna put on the bunny hood. And then we're gonna do this. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure you pound this one down. Okay, and then that starts this timer where this guy goes up. Then you walk over here. Oh, and you fall. You fall. I was trying not to fall. Let's see if I can still do it. The timer's gonna run out on me. Okay, and then you pound this guy down. Okay, and then the door is unblocked, but we're about to run out of time, so it's not going to matter. Yep, we didn't make it. Anyway, I actually did the puzzle right the first time that time instead of getting myself all confused, but I was too slow because I fell. Okay, let's try that again. So you climb on here, do the ground pound. I don't know why this particular puzzle confused the hell out of me when I first played this game. Um, and many more times. It's definitely been a spot that I've gotten stuck on multiple occasions. Okay, to try to get a little bit more speed for that timer, I'm going to take this off. We're going to do bunny hood. I'm going to run over here. We're going to... Oh. Oh, curl up. Here we go. We don't need the Goron mask anymore. We can just bunny hood run. Get up there. Get up there. Go, 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 go. Yay, we made it. Okay, so <laughs> we're back in the central room again, and we can't really get anywhere. Um, we just have these little like rolly things. Like if we look to the left and right, like there's literally no way to go but across. So what we're gonna do is roll up and we're gonna go across and pray we don't fall. Okay, so that one is not too hard, but now we have to roll around this little bank right here. So I am gonna save because I have fallen all the way down more times than I care to admit. Fuck, and I just did it again. I knew that was a good idea. I knew it was a good idea to save my state. Now there's a little basket down there that's supposed to catch you, but I don't tend to fall there, even though I just did, <laughs> even though I just did. But anyway, if you fall in the basket, it's not a big deal because you just take this ladder back up. Okay, but if you fall off the edge, I did almost make it. I did almost make it, but it's okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Okay, go, 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 go. Haha, there we go. Okay, these guys will give you some more magic because you just used it, of course, doing your roll. 
Um, and we're not going to go into that room quite yet. We're actually going to go across one more time. There we go. And then we're going to go into this room. And this is our first little mini boss, a stupid fucking whiz robe. Um, the whiz robes are very annoying. Very annoying. Um, you want to be a Goron when you fight them, even though he moves very slowly, uh, and therefore it makes it easy for the Wizrobe to attack you. The Goron does so much damage that you only have to do the Goron punch four times, and then he dies. So we did it twice already. And of course, now he's going to do his phase two, and then you have to hit him twice during his phase two. Where is he? I'm too slow. He's going to get me. He will try to ice you, and if you step on that ice, then you are gonna freeze and uh, and get hurt and lose time. So we got him once. Dang it, I guessed wrong. Yep, and that's what it looks like when it freezes. And you can't even step on it again. Yeah, too slow, too slow. So then the challenge is just like guessing right so that you run there quickly. Because <laughs> you do so much damage, you only have to do it four times. So you all you definitely want to fight the whiz robes as the Goron. It's way easier. All right, what we get, what we get, what we get? What we get? <gasps> we got the fire arrows! Okay. All right. Fucking sweet. All right, so we got the fire arrows. We got the main item of this dungeon. So here's what we're actually gonna do next. It is getting close to day two. And we have a mini game to play. We have a daily mini game to play. So we are actually gonna fly back over to Clock Town. You play the song of soaring inside a dungeon, remember it automatically flies into the entrance. And then we can just exit. And then we can fly to Clock Town. All right, so even though we lost a lot of time on the first day with me not slowing down time, we're actually right back to where um, I thought we should be at this point. So it's almost about to be day two. And between now and day two hitting, we're just gonna farm up some rupees in our little clock town rupee farming spot until it rolls over to day two. Now, I actually have plenty of rupees right now to play the next um, Honey and Darling game, but sometimes I don't. I mean, it really just depends on how good I am with collecting rupees inside the dungeon. So that's why we stopped to farm rupees here. We want to make sure we have enough for the Honey and Darling, but like, I already actually do. And usually, I would say usually I do, but not always. It really depends. But... I've been thinking about it and I don't want to just like stream a like out an hour or something of just rupee farming like I think that's so boring so I want to space it out try to like farm rupees in between like in these little times that we have to do that so that when I'm going for the bank like 5,000 um rupee heart piece that it's not just like a whole stream of rupee farming to get that even though I would say that probably is the more efficient way to do it. I just think it's too long. <laughs> I think it's too long of doing the one thing uh, for a stream, you know? So we're gonna try to do it a little bit by little bit. But online you can find like methods of going around and doing your rupee farming. That, uh, that can be really beneficial. And really fast. Also, you see the graphical glitch that happens. So if you, when it's counting down the time, 
if you change zones, you end up, as it kind of does the shrinking with the bong, you end up with this little bit of the top down at the bottom too. Isn't that so funny looking? Just a little graphical glitch that's in this game that I have noticed. And it only happens if you change zones while it's doing this countdown. And of course, if you've slowed down time, then it takes forever to finish the countdown, so you're going to end up with that. Here we go. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Okay. So now we can do the next day of the bombs. I'll show you guys that minigame. Let's see. I'm debating whether we go ahead and play the minigame and try to beat it and end the stream there for Majora's Mask and switch over to Sims 2, or or if I open if I open the next stream with it. Saving my state. I think let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Hello, Moo Moo Cow. How are you doing today? Are you having are you are you having a good weekend so far? Or continue playing Majora's Mask and forget about The Sims? <laughs> this is also an option. <laughs> uh, you guys are funny. I love The Sims though. Okay. It looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Or oh, you're the one who got a perfect score yesterday. Would you like to play again? Today is basketball day, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so let's save our state right here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, shoot. No, I won't play. I forgot something. You have to take your bunny hood off, okay? Do not try to play this game with the bunny hood. You will absolutely fall off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I use save states. I'm a, I'm a save stater. I'm a super cheater. Okay. Now let's save. Okay, you have to get a bomb in every basket. So instead of bomb choose, you throw the bombs. So, all right. Here's the problem with doing this, is that you have to run forward to throw it. So this is why, like, you run faster with the bunny hood, which means that you are going to fucking fall for sure. The lower down baskets are easier because the platform does not have to be up for you to get in them. The higher up baskets are harder because not only do you have to aim right, but the platform has to be high or it's not going to get in there. Perfect first try! First try. Perfect first try. Fuck yeah. Perfect first try. <laughs> Moo Moo Cow, don't hate. Don't hate. Save states are valid. Save, save states are valid. First try, first try, first try. Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. Okay, 50 rupees. Fuck yeah. Okay. That's annoying. So let him show off even more. Let's show off even more for him, darling. Okay. okay. I'm not annoyed by PDA. You guys do you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. All right. All right. I can't believe I did that one first try. I'm like so happy. I can't believe I did that one first try. Woo! Woo! I like, I've got too much, I've got too much happy energy now. Okay, so next time. Next time we're gonna finish, we're gonna finish the, uh, we're gonna finish the um thing. Temple. So actually let's sort of there. All right, so we need to go to...
can't believe I did that one first try. Mmm. That feels so good. Feels so good. Okay. So we are going to save here. So let's do date. I'm going to save a couple of them just so good for sure. We don't lose them. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. Next time on, uh, on Artistic License, we're going to be doing more of Majora's Mask. So please come back next week for more uh, Snowfall and doing also the Honey and Darling minigame again for the third day so that we can get the piece of heart. Uh, for now, though, we are going to say goodbye to people watching the VOD on YouTube. So for y'all watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.